had this on a string last week, please. That's a great strike. Oh, mate, I, I was hitting that ball. That, that's the shot I was hitting. Time after time. I was just going to say, I couldn't, couldn't think who it was. Was it Tapau? Oh, look at that, Tapau. Wow. Right, we are back. It is episode two of the big uh, golf's big question, as we're now calling it. I'm here with Lewis Johnson. We're down at Conway Golf Club. First tee shots are out the way. Fairway. How long have you got? What have you got in? I've got 171. 171 into the first. We're going to play some holes and we're going to have a, all the questions that you've sent in on last week's video. A few on social media. I'll fire some at Lou. He'll fire some at me. We'll give you some opinion. And in between, we'll try and hit a few good golf shots. Right, over to you, Lou. Yeah, decent ball. Cracking ball, in fact. High ball flight there. Ooh, Ooh one of the little, little members bouncing. I'm glad I got, I'm glad I, I'm glad I hit one more. I didn't think that was going to get there. So first question on the second hole, and it comes from Stephen Bunting. How do you know what is a good pro to have lessons with to improve your game? I'll give you that one first. That's a question, isn't it? My, yo, know, it's hard to answer from inside the goldfish bowl, but my, yo, know, from my point of view, if I was going for a lesson, it would be who would I want to spend my half hour with or hour? I think on a personal level. So take anything out of it, sort of playing pedigree, coaching pedigree, whatever. Um, I think who who do you connect with as a So person? you've got to get on with them. It, uh, that would be the first thing. I okay. think if you don't get on with someone, yo, do you not? Do you not but how would you? you, know, you but how would you, how would you know that before you started? Yeah, yeah. So I, I, if you're thinking of going for a lesson with anyone, you know, whether it be driving around a course, you have the ability to go in and speak to that person. You, you right. Can, um, and so maybe have a chat with them first. That that would that would probably be you know obviously people. What about things. reputation and things like that? Yeah, but you know, just because they've made someone else better, yeah, it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to make. So a bit of better. horses for courses. I know I've had lessons over the years, and some coaches, I know after a couple of lessons, they might be far too technical for me, yeah. or they're explaining something in a way yeah. that I'm struggling to understand. So it's it's pointless. That's a great question though because. How many? What? What? You know, it probably leads to a follow-up. But what? How have people chose it? How, how do people choose it? Yeah. Because I, you know, I'd I'd be interested to know from what what do do they go? Does it? Do they care? Like if you're a good player? Do, yeah. Do, you know, do they? You know, um, is it just availability? Do people just go? Oh well, I'll I'll have him because he's free. I nice. think in in my case again, it's been a case over the years of club pro. So yep. often at the golf club pro, you'll give a first sort of chance to. And then again, if you speak to people, I've had lessons down at Four Golf over the years from lads who I've just, like you said, chatted to, got on with and uh, give them yeah, a go. Yeah, I think that's it. Especially if you, you're going to have a long-term sort of relationship with going forward with lessons, I think you've got to want to spend time with that person. And I think it gives, uh, you know, if you don't get on the other way, you, uh, you know, every time you get a bad shot, you're probably going to question what they... Blame them. I do anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So, good question though, because that's... It's, not something it's a great question. It's question number one. We're on hole number two, and I'll fire a bit more at Louis. But for now, so I've just had a question just in, they said, Lou. 151. 151. It says, why does Lewis always hit a shank on hole two at Conway? As, uh, just I'm saying. Known for, I'm known for four He's just birdied the first. I'm trying anything. <laughs> I'm known for four putting this green, actually. <laughs> Way down the left, that Lou. Oh, and a kick left oh, as well. Kick left, that. Not great. Penalty. 
So come on then, and we've had another question in. Yep. Don't know who it's from. I haven't had a look. We'll, we'll, pop it up. we'll pop it up down the bottom, mate. Eh? So we had the one with the most, with the favourite hole last yeah. week. And then we've had a question, what is your least favourite hole? Not through, you know, this like one that gets in your head, maybe a car Yeah, bigger. okay, another good question. Um, I, I think everybody's got them holes on every golf course. I'll give you one from this golf course very quickly. But I do think it's something that, uh, it's a major part of golf, isn't it? Never mind your favorite, your worst hole. The brain is so like, yeah, plays a major part. I think we've all got one on. This hot, this course here. Golf course you played, played but, but, yeah. but in terms of here, I think it'd be most people's would be seventeen. Yeah, I and mean, it is without doubt a really tough golf hole anyway. But I even spoke to someone last week, and they said six times they've played here, and not once have they hit the fairway off the tee. <laughs> So and for, for me, who's played it, if you miss the fairway, it generally adds up to. It's in the number. course, yeah. So for me, before I even step on, even leading up to 15, 16, if you're playing half decent, you're starting to think about 17, which is already you're on to a loser. Before you so that's an easy one. Fairway finding. That's it, mine just clung on and left, eh? You can just see that behind Andy. So I've got another question for you, mate, before you hit this one. Yeah, go. So Rob Biles, yeah. he actually starts off with good choice, Lou. That was sixth hole, New South Wales. All right, okay. <laughs> so his actual question down the bottom is, what what do you think the next big thing in golf is? Ball, speed, phone, copper, all these things coming out. What what do you think the next big thing is? Um I think even this year there's been a change, so we've seen a bit of work done. Believe it or not, whether you're, whether you're into the tech or not, or whether you believe the hype's a different thing, I think there's been more effort into wedges in the last three releases. So that be the, uh, the TaylorMade, the Callaway, so that's the Jaws, the M, uh, Milgrind 2, and even the Ping Glide 3. I think there's been a bit more tech in those. If you're getting Bigfoot. And Bigfoot, yeah. But I think, again, just a concentration on um, maybe the products that are not the, uh, the the stars of the show. So I think they've exceeded stuff in kind of. I think with driver and irons, it'll all be about dispersion, tightening up numbers. Yeah. But I don't think there's going to be any great shakes. No doubt there'll be some big stories to come. But I think it'll be concentrating on putters, wedges. Yeah, I like that about the, the maybe the clubs that don't get the. They haven't had the attention yeah, so maybe far. Yeah, your putters, your wedges. You know, there's a lot at the minute about like driving irons. Yeah. Hybrids. Yeah, yeah, yeah great. Yeah. I think the technology in them. I think. You know, maybe looking at clubs, you know, driving. Well, the mini, the mini driver was another one. Yeah. The mini driver yeah. came out, which again I thought was a great development. It was something. Yeah. Well, as you know, I game it. I love it. A bit it. of an unsung hero because you don't read or see too no. much about it, but no, you never. You know, well, I, you know, I, we we've dealt with it a bit. You play it, but the lads who bought it off, uh, you know, from from Four Golf etc. They, they love it. Oh, it, honestly, it's 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 been. I think it's a for for average golfers again. Anyone who struggles with the driving. I think it's a perfect combination, shorter shaft, decent, big enough size head on it, and uh, it's a good controllable club. But I think it'll be more things like that. I can't see there being any leaps forward other than that. I will concentrate on this one. I'm two down after two, so into the breeze as ever at Conway. Knock it off to the best of starts, Lou. A bit great shot here, though, so follow it up. A and cling on left hand side. All, has it? Yeah, it's on the dance floor, but that's about 30 foot away, but it's a decent strike. Super shot. Oh, hello, Louis. Jesus Christ. That's not in the script, that, is it? It's two under through three. Two under through three as soon as I put the camera on. 
Fantastic, I made up for you. It's on you, mate. Go, just go yell as I can't get the camera further back. I think the questions are putting me off. Yeah, I love them. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Whose idea was this? I can't concentrate. I think it's like, uh, it's like multitasking, multitasking this. yeah, yeah. I've always got an excuse. Right, two up, playing the fourth. I quite like the in-depth questions as well. Oh, I've got a big one coming now, mate. Oh, have Yeah. Nice shape. Well, I'll tell you what, you're on a bit of rhythm here today, aren't you? <laughs> What I want to talk about first is you've uh, you've outdone me with a what do you have three wood? That's a hot three wood that new one I got though, isn't it? What have we got yardage wise? It's a, it's a smooth nine or a hard wedge, I think, isn't it? What are you going for? I haven't got a wedge with me. Smooth nine, it is. Downwind though, you know. Just going to draw it in off the right. Love it. Oh, great shot. Hold. You've had a couple of naff kicks there today already. <laughs> I'm in no up. man's land again. We're on, the, we're on the fourth. Eh? That was a naff kick, that one. It wasn't the best. Decent strike, though. Right, Lou, bit of a door opener again. So yeah. you're already two up, playing a fourth. He's playing a bit good here today, Lou. And I, I don't like it when he gets into this rhythm early doors. I find myself too far back too soon. I don't get going until about the 14th. It, uh, it doesn't happen too often though, does it? Right, what, what, what are you playing, wedge? Wedge, yeah. Oh, God. Playing a bit, are you playing match play? <sighs> Grab the right-hand side. Wasn't your best, of mate. The, of the club. Of the club. <laughs> Grab the right-hand side of the club. Just about. <laughs> Right, Lou, next question. Uh, I actually won that old, you know. It I was, was on great, a shot. It was, it was a great up and down for four. It yeah. was a good up and down, but I was yeah. on a shot. And uh, So anyway, it's back, back to one and we're on the fifth, so I'm happy with that. But it's question time. The big questions in golf, that's what we answer. Jay Byrne, regular supporter of the channel and part of team average, actually. Um, he asks that, with all the help in golf clubs these days, why aren't golfers hitting it miles and playing off scratch? Most people still around the mid-twenties. I assume he means in handicap, not age. Great question. It is a good question. It's asked a lot as well. People do make reference to this quite a lot. So, Lou, what is your take on it? Well, if, 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 you know, if the golf club, the golf manufacturers claims that everything's easy to it and everything goes further, you'd question why. Yeah. But, uh, you know, the golf club, the golf courses at club level aren't getting much harder, much longer. So, you know, what's, like they aren't at all. So, so uh, there's no. What's going on then? That's it. What is going on? <laughs> I was looking for a more. Uh, I was looking for an answer. Hey, no, you no, just another, repeated the question. The question. <laughs> I mean, I can I give know. you? I'll give you. I'll give you an opinion. So all that's happened in golf in the last golf clubs manufacturing in the last few years is they've assisted with launching balls in terms of both driver and so placement of CG. Yeah. Doesn't help you score better. It helps you get the ball in the air. Doesn't help you score better. That's it. I think forgiveness has improved in terms of the sweet spot has gotten bigger. Yeah. Irons, drivers. Yeah. Again, doesn't get the ball in the hole, but it's, you know, in theory, should be helping you get more and more balls out there. But ultimately, it's always going to be 
down to the individual in terms of performance. But I think that's this it. Is... Well, I, that's what I was. I was trying in a roundabout way to say. Well, I, I don't think it's the clubs. I don't think it's the courses. Yeah. I think you know, are, are people are people underthinking it in terms of not having lessons, not getting proper instruction, or yeah. are people. I think there's a reliance, oh. always a reliance. I'm guilty of it. I, I love new product. I always, I, I don't make no qualms about that. But yeah. I always say there's no magic wands. I'm, I'm also realised that, you know, it, it, it isn't going to change my game significantly. It isn't going to. They assist. I think club technology gives you a better chance. So custom fit gives you a better chance than having yeah, yeah. a set of clubs that aren't custom. Or fit. are people just playing less golf now? So they, 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 they yeah so participation is down we know participation so is down, averages you know. and all that so i just think are people playing less mm. you know i i know golf clubs where the you know lads would play you know good they'd play on the saturday but they'd probably play tuesday night friday night and then play saturday i've got they? a good question here and they're not doing i've that. got a good question yeah yeah you've known me for i don't know how long i forget that bit but anyway i was a better player in terms of handicap so yeah no no, no i would go the other way you're a better player now, but your handicap is higher. Well, that, that's what I was getting to. <coughs> so, handicap, I don't think either, is always a direct reflection of performance. My short game is poorer, but that doesn't mean technology hasn't helped me in the longer game. Yeah. I definitely think the mini driver has helped me in the longer game. So it's like... Are we answering this question? <laughs> not really. We're just going around the houses. Yeah, yeah. Take your T-shirt. Thanks, Jay. Good, <coughs> Good question. Terrible answers. Yeah, that's it. I, I just, I, I agree. Like you're, you're a perfect example of your golf is definitely better quality but your handicap doesn't reflect it, so... No, it's higher. Thanks for reminding me. Right, one up. Uh, it's left trap, will it make it? Great ball flight into that. Ooh, oh, short just, of it. just short of it, perfect. Good start. Assistance there, I think with, uh, with, without the technology in that driver you're using, that would have been... Uh, 20 further short of that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quality strike that. That's all the help from the tight, uh, tailor made mini. I just don't think you can get that ball flight and launch conditions and everything with a driver. But you just no. you do it on a regular basis with that club. Well, again, that's a di I, you know that's where you know that's the technology question. It goes back to Jay's question. There's definitely technology that has helped me do that with that club, different than I could have done with a. You know, with the old Ping G400 so it's driver. you create better shots. But I've got to get another 300 yards before the ball goes in the hole, That's haven't it. I? So whether I make bogey or par or... Shot. You are on a shot, yep. And I've pulled up two yards short of a bunker. How do you feel? Yeah, well, I think I. Again, two yards short of a bunker, it. and it's almost sitting on a T peg like that. It's, anyway. Uh, mine's, uh, I can just see my bag over on the left. Mine's uh, just run off into the rough. Just drawing back to the flag nicely. Big. Is it big? It's on the top tier. Is it really? I can't believe that. You went down the club as well, didn't you? Yeah. It's not, it's not, you know, that's that's a great strike from back here. Is it to be fair though? Have I got my audio on? It's that draw shape though again. 
It was whoever, I've, I've just quoted this off camera, but someone said, someone said to me the other week, and he said, play with whatever sort of shot you've got on the day, and I've been struggling to it. I sort of hit that trying to, I don't know, hold off a little bit of a cut shot over the last, I don't know, year or so. But I've been finding it easier today to hit that draw, and I've sort of gone with that motto of uh, hit the shot that you've got today. And That was a great track. It was, I mean, I can't believe that's long then. But there you go. But what I was going to say was a draw perhaps a little bit longer than... Uh, you did, with that sort of soft cutty one in it. Yeah, yeah. Look, well, look at that blue sky. What a gorgeous day, and no wind either. We've got, an, we've got it easy here today. I hope it's like this in a week's time. Don't forget, it's average golf for the year. A week today. Yeah. And if we have had it today, it's perfect. Anyway, Lou, um, well, you're on the pressure, because I'm at the yeah. back end, but you've got to stick up, it on, up, I think. Up against it. It's been some good golf, hasn't it? Bit of a switch round. Don't forget, we're all square. Um, so, yeah. Bit of a game. Oh, he's got a ball there. Go on. That is club. coming right on the flag. Has he got the right yardage? Oh! Oh, it's oh Lou! Well, we can't get that on camera, but believe me, that's just rolled past the flag. Well, I thought it might have gone in at one point. Happy with that. Fantastic shot. So he's about, it looks at the moment, here, maybe man. three, four foot past the flag. It's hard to say. Could be closer. I think it did you a bit of injustice, mate. I said three or four foot past the hole. You can pick that up. Oh, I've got That's my pussy, a fantastic man. shot, that. I've got my pussy. Pitched up around here and just rolled in all towards the hole. Oh, fantastic. That, give me. Oh, man, I'm pitched here. I felt, I felt as though I had to uh, stick it in, mate, with this. Uh, it's been a bit of a uh, change inside. Do you want it left in, mate, yeah? Yeah. Oh, when he hit me shot, I really thought, um, uh, here's one up. That is not, that's not an easy two put. Don't forget, I've got to get it down in two, still for the half. That's right, isn't it? You I'm have, on a yeah, shot, yeah, aren't yeah. I? Yeah, two putts for the half, yeah. Chances? That's got, that could go in. It's got to go. Oh, oh Lou! Super How effort. How is that not broke into the hole? Super effort. Is your audio on? Yeah. I mean, I'm not being funny. You've delayed me by at least... Well, you've delayed me by 30 second, 36 seconds on this putt already. Wow. It's gameplay, mate. Is your audio on? You're still gameplaying me. So in case you didn't get that, you've got my audio. That's one minute one you've just delayed this shot for. <laughs> Mate, you can try them tactics, but uh, I'm putting well today. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm celebrating like I've won. It was a half, wasn't it? And I decided, oh, this has been a great match. Oh, that's a great drive as well. Took the shortest route there. There's two bunkers you can't see, probably on camera, but he's just nipped it to the right of them. Oh, it's over the path. Makeable in two. Get up in two, par five. Good quality of golf today. No, it's been good. Well, you started off flying and uh, managed to make a bit of a game of it. We're still playing. Yeah, just go over cut it. Yeah, it's not great. Not well, I tried to be a bit, it was a bit of a bold move and uh, it hasn't panned out because that's cut out to the right. I'm going to have a, well, I'll be blind shot to say the least. So Louis, it's a big dig still. He's probably had about 30 yards on me there, but I still, it's a, still a big dig to get up into. Well, I'll tell you what, it's a perfect line and the ball flight's good as well. Yeah, it's a long way today. Yeah, 
going to the right as well. You can see the flag flipping on the top there. It's hard to know, isn't it? Yeah, we shall find out. Well, I'll tell you what, we walk around the corner and uh, from a blind shot, Lou, yeah, I, I couldn't have asked for any better. It's game on. Oh, oh. do you know what? That's, that's just literally dead. You can see the dark patches over in the water over the last couple of days and that has just stopped that dead. Uh, well, that good. well, it's still all to play for. It's like the Solheim Cup this week, gone down to the final putt on the final hole. Oh, we haven't taken that long, have we? Oh, jeez. Cut audio. <laughs> right, we're down to the wire. Lou, it's, uh, I don't know, 12 foot, 15 foot? I think I need to hold it, do I? I wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't go that far, like, but... For the potential win. Oh, it stayed up! The view's lovely though, isn't it? There's nothing I can add to make that better. I mean that view there. <laughs> so, little little mention of Solheim Cup there. What were your overall thoughts on? Final question, by the way. Final question of the yeah, video. Yeah, that's, uh, that's from me. So, brilliant. Loved it. I know there was issues over the time, and it was a thing. There's no doubt about it. I, I have a beer in my bonnet about golf full stop in terms of how long it takes to play as he takes two minutes to answer a question before it. But I've got a big deal about it, and uh, yet there was an issue. Um, but overall, that as a, aside... As a spectacle. I thought it was it's brilliant. Unbelievable, wasn't it? Yeah. The result was fantastic, but I think the bigger deal is, and what annoys me about golf in general, is that the... Uh, I think the powers that be need to make more of an effort to make more... I think the Ryder Cup and the Solheim Cup should be an annual event, because I think it's the most interesting... Um, I think it's the thing that gets everybody involved and watching and excited about the game. Yeah. And unfortunately, it only happens once every two years, both events. There's so much more of a buzz around both Ryder Cup and Solheim. It's and, exciting. Yeah, it's, absolutely. It's exciting. On a yeah. golf, on a four-day tournament, standard tournament, the excitement comes on the back nine on Sunday. For the first three and a half days, it's building up to that one minute. Yeah. And I know there's the euphoria at the end of the Solheim Cup, but every day, You've got the excitement at the end of a match, haven't you? Yeah. So I just think, I, it's, I, I thought Solheim Cup was brilliant, but I think Ryder Cup, all them team events are massive, and I just wish they'd have more of them. Anyway. There you go, more team events. That's my opinion. The Zurich Classic pair of events, I think they're doing. They're, try, they're trying to get there, aren't they? Where are you pointing that camera? At the hole. Well, you, you know. <laughs> well, I thought you were asking me a question. <laughs> right, more importantly. So this is... I feel like Suzanne Peterson right now. Well, hang on. Let me just get in play. There, there you go. I rephrase that. Do you feel like Suzanne Peterson? As in the situation. I'm not going to retire if this goes in. It's four birdie for the match on the last, on a par five. Oh, very Peterson like. Oh, it stayed up again. Didn't get the lead off you. It flattens out by the yeah, hole. Yeah, yeah, Good so, pace. yeah. Good pace. Yeah, mate. From there, I thought it was going in, but it didn't. So, uh, but I really did. Uh, I did see a Peterson moment coming on, but I won't retire based on that. As ever, the uh, different style of video. Uh, tried to mix in a bit of match play with some questions that came. So the big thing is uh, for this to work. I need the continued input of you. So can you ask questions in the comments box below? Tell us what you think of the style of the video. Um, in terms of a match, it was all square. Great game, thanks to Lewis. And uh, yeah, I think that's it really. Keep them coming. Keep that's them it. coming, enjoyed that. That's it. Play down 10 and we'll go for a pint. Perfect. See you soon.